after learning about test data you must be thinking that like do we really have to create test data for each unit test method uh, to test uh, like different different scenarios so the answer is no you do not have to create it for each uh, unit test though you can create separate data sets for different different unit tests if you want to but if you want to create a same data set for uh, like or like for n number of uh, test methods or for all of your test methods then there is a way you can do that and that way is by creating a method which uh, which is called as a test setup method and with the help of test setup method you will be able to load a data set or you will be able to create a data set uh, which will get executed first while uh, executing the run of a test class and after the execution of test setup method when the data will be loaded into the database all of the test met methods will be able to access that same data set uh, for, to test whatever functionality they want to test uh, with that particular data set and uh, after the execution of the test class this uh, data set will be rolled back of course because uh, this is something this is the kind of data th these records are something that we are creating inside a test class and whatever data we create inside a test class uh, gets deleted automatically or gets rolled back or you can say it, it doesn't get committed at all into the database. So if you want to create a same data set for a lot of uh, different, different test methods and uh, you want to create it as soon as the test class gets loaded, uh, then in that case you need to create a test setup method and let's see how to do that. So again, uh, we have defined this class as at is test, uh, name of the class is test class 5 and over here uh, we have created a variable uh, which is nothing but a list of account records which are called as test accounts right and over here what we are trying to do is uh, anyways we do not have to create this variable but yeah so we have created a new uh, like we have added a new list and we are creating two accounts over here test account 0 and test account 1 with the help of this particular loop and after adding two uh, records into this list uh, we are inserting it into the database. So a test setup method is a kind of method which gets executed first before executing any unit test method of that particular class. So irrespective of the order of the test setup method even if you are writing it down as the first method or you are writing down it as the last method. Uh, the ex while you will be executing the test or while you will be running the test, uh, the test setup method in the test class, if there is any, will get executed first and then the rest of the test methods. So this will insert two account records into the database and then later on uh, we have created a test method which is uh, called as test method 1 which will perform this particular test into the database. Let us look at this. Uh, so get the first test account uh, using SQL query. Select ID from account where name is equals to test account uh, test AC account 0 limit 1. So we will get it and uh, how we will modify this particular account ACCT dot phone. We are just changing the value of uh, phone uh, field in here and uh, after that we are just updating it into the database. So we are just writing down update ACCT. And the second record which got created, we want to just delete it. So we'll query that back again. And this is how we'll query it and we'll delete it like this. So this is all what we have written down inside this test class. But the main point over here is that whenever we write down a query uh, into the like uh, in a test class or in a test method, uh, until unless there is see all data is equal to true mentioned in that method or on that class, uh, which seems to be not there for the method as well as for not for the class then only the records uh, which got inserted uh, inside that test method or in, uh, or as a te uh, or inside the test setup methods will be available so this query will return null if the execution of test set uh, setup method will uh, or the test uh, if the test setup method will not get executed so but but let's see uh, how it goes uh, Let's just debug both of these records, right? Uh, 
to see what information we have got in this and whether it is a null, whether it is null or not. So we will just execute the new run, test class, test method, run and let us just look at the logs. So there you go, the phone fields value got updated uh, exactly as we have described in the test method and this is the ID of the another record that we created into the database. So this is all about the test setup methods. Uh, again, if you want to create a data set for the whole test method or for uh, yeah for for the whole, uh, for all of the test methods that are there into that particular class you can create a uh, create a method as test setup method and let's have a look whether we will be able to create more than one test setup methods or not into a single class so what do you think will it get saved or not okay so there's a problem now that means only one method per type can be defined with test setup so in a single class, there can only be one test setup method, which is exactly what we have got in here. So let's just change this annotation back again and make it as test, at is test rather than test setup because it is already there in this particular class and we can only have one. 